From the earliest civilizations to today, images and reports of flying saucers and little green men have been documented. These images and ideas are widespread and aliens have become an icon in our society. The general consensus behind these beings is that they're extraterrestrial from outside our solar system. But what if they're not? So here's where my theory comes in. Brace yourself, it's pretty radical. Sightings and documentations of these beings consistently report this image. These beings have been named the greys. The big eyes, green, grey skin, tiny body sizes, and large heads. These traits share a lot with what we would look like in the future. Take a look at this article from the Huffington Post. They predict what humans will look like in 20,000, 60,000, and 100,000 years. Hundreds of thousands of years is actually rather small on the scale of macroevolution. So maybe these beings are simply humans hundreds of thousands of years in the future, traveling back in time? That far into the future, technology would have progressed radically, possibly allowing time travel. Considering the distances between stars, it's almost just as likely that it's us time traveling as them getting here. Compare the differences in the greys and us, and notice how they correlate with traits we'll likely evolve in the future. As the article shows clearly, our eyes will likely get bigger considering they process 83% of our sensory data. Bigger eyes will also help in low light environments such as space, and most of all, it's deemed attractive. Although our sense of smell was the first to evolve, it is used the least for our species. Additionally, large noses are seen as unattractive to modern humans, unfortunately for me. In addition to large mouths being generally unattractive, humans in the future will likely be eating pre-processed food and will have no need for large jaws and sharp teeth. More and more we're spending time in controlled environments. Hair's primary purpose is warmth and protection, but in controlled environments there's no need for it. The abundance of hair we have today is on the top of our heads. This evolved to protect us from harmful rays from the sun, but in a controlled environment, once again, there'll be no need for it. Additionally, body hair is often seen as unattractive and would likely not be found in future humans. Reports consistently say these beings have gray or sometimes green skin. As our society evolves, races will likely mix and produce a pigment in our skin similar to gray. This pigmented skin will help with the sun's UV rays. Body size works as an intimidation factor. The larger one is, the less likely a predator is going to mess with you. But as humans are the apex predator on Earth, there is no need for us to be large or tall. Future humans will likely work in jobs requiring more intelligence rather than manual labor, rendering brawn less necessary than brain. Which brings me to my last point. Head size. Although the size of the head doesn't necessarily correlate to intelligence, many people argue that the larger the head, the more intelligent the being. Research from the University of Birmingham in England has concluded that the forehead of modern-day humans is much higher up than those who lived in medieval times. If this trend continues and humanity grows smarter, it's possible this is what we could look like in the future. Keep in mind that these traits may not evolve on their own. Even today, we are able to use selective breeding and alter genes to make different breeds of animals. Humans of the future may use artificial selection on a larger scale to create humans more fit for the environments of the future. While I think them being us from the future is just as likely as them being from another solar system, I still primarily believe that most of these sightings and documents are hoaxes. It's much more likely that we're simply personifying something like we always do, giving human traits to something non-human. If these even are beings from another planet, I think it's likely that we're projecting human traits onto them, even though they probably look drastically different. I think it's much more likely that they look very different from us. So what do you guys think? Do you think that's us from the future? Do you think it's simply beings from another solar system that somehow we're able to travel here? Do you think it's all a conspiracy? I guess only time will tell. Well, thanks for watching and listening to my crazy conspiracy theory. Hope you enjoyed.